So I'm one of 13 kids. And <laughs> so you can imagine with 13 kids how many sports injuries there, there are. And so I've seen a lot of finger fractures, I've seen ACL. And initially I was actually going to college to be a physical therapist. And then I thought to myself, you know, I, I, I want to know exactly what I'm doing these things for. You know, I, I did a lot of proctorship for a physical therapy and a uh, physical therapy degree. And finally, I just changed my mind my senior year in college. My parents thought I was crazy, and then here I am. So my philosophy in general is to start at the basement floor. Uh, you know, I always put people through all the conservative care I can prior to considering surgery. Most people I'll put through, you know, anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, and uh, try to avoid surgery, obviously, at all costs. I treat them as if they're me, or my sister, or my mom, or my brother, you know? so. Um, only if the physical therapy or injections fail and they've, um, they need pathology or they have pathology that needs to be addressed, then we'll do it. American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons, and I'm also part of NAS, which is the uh, Spine Society. And I'm uh, having two specialties, I'm constantly having to update myself on, you know, either new data that has come into the world and different procedures. And so it, it, it's, it's busy, but it's a, it's a uh, good spot to be. Perform about 200 to 300 uh, shoulder surgeries in a given year. And that can vary from shoulder replacements to rotator cuff repairs to labral repairs. As far as spine goes, uh, annually, probably around 200 cases per year. And that, once again, is a variation in microdiscectomies or fusions, uh, whether it be cervical or lumbar. Thoracic spine surgery is a little bit more rare because it's a stable area where the ribs live and so that there's not as much pathology in that region. I would say the typical patient that I would normally see is just a normal variety person who likes to work out and be athletic and you know we're not in a big university setting here and so I don't see a ton of college athletes but the people I see for shoulder injuries are typically in their 40s to mid 60s, mid 70s, um, and they often may require a rotator cuff repair or have a tendonitis, which may require an injection or physical therapy. And then the uh, spine candidates are, they range from young to old and anywhere in between. When it comes to shoulder surgery, I would say the hot topic is arthroscopy and what you can do through the least amount of incisions or the fewest, fewest amount of incision. So all of my shoulder surgery except for a shoulder replacement is just about done through the small three or four little poke hole what we call portals in the skin. And uh, you know I just do not open the shoulder for a rotator cuff repair or a labor repair. Uh, as far as spine goes the hot topic is minimally invasive and I do believe in minimally invasive spine surgery. The incisions obviously are smaller, but you're able to do a lot of work and there's less soft tissue recovery. You're not cutting through muscle, you're dilating through muscle. And then you're able to either, depending on what surgery it is, take the disc away from the nerve or even perform a fusion through incisions that are just over a quarter, that's the size of a quarter. Shoulder replacements, there's two different types. One is for a rotator cuff deficient shoulder, and the other one is for a shoulder that has maybe a partial tear of one of the rotator cuff tendons, but overall the rotator cuff is healthy. So shoulder, joint, or shoulder pain can be debilitating because we use our shoulders for everything. And people will come into my office and they will say, well, I didn't, I didn't know people did or had shoulder replacements. I didn't know surgeons did this. But uh, simply put, you, you replace the ball in the socket of the shoulder. And the shoulder, unlike a hinge joint, like a knee, uh, is, is a little bit more complex. So you have to take into uh, those measures into account. The typical surgical time is about 90 minutes, and it's an overnight stay in the hospital, and they go home. The second type of shoulder, or in a shoulder that has rotator cuff tear arthropathy, we call it, or in shoulders that their rotator cuff has been torn for a period of time, and then they get migration of the ball on the socket, well, that has to be treated with a special implant called a reverse prosthesis or a reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. And in most people, the ball and the socket are like this. And as you would think, in a reverse, the ball it becomes here, the socket becomes here, and then you use your deltoid muscle then to motor the shoulder. So I guess I would just tell anybody who's suffering from shoulder pain, spine pain, leg pain, or sciatica pain, 
that uh, they can always go to our website and find out more about us. It's coreorthosports.com, and uh, we'll be happy to help.